What's up, guys, and welcome to Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that are going to ignite, excite, and take your relationship to all new, healthy, and great levels. You know, this stuff that we always share with you guys, this information is either experience or things that me and Sharice have went through as a couple, or our friends or other people we've seen out there that we've observed go through some of these situations or some of these different things that maybe you shouldn't do if you're in a relationship or trying to be in a relationship. And this is for both guys and girls across the board. And if you're in a relationship, maybe you guys can take some of these little tidbits and enhance your relationship to be even better because it's all about progress, moving forward in whatever you do in life. It can always be better, right? right? Always be better. Whether it's your relationship, your job, your personal finances, your personal body and health, everything can change and you can be the one to change it. You are in charge of your own destiny and hopefully your relationship. But a relationship always takes two people. So you guys two always tango. Right? Always tango takes two tango. Alone, right? I don't think so. Maybe it was an invisible partner. <laughs> I could dance around and shake it. It blew up doll or something. Yeah, see? <laughs> see, it can be done, but you always want a live, right? Partner, hopefully, yes. uh, and a human at that point. Some very strange things happening out there nowadays, guys. So who definitely, knows? definitely, one hundred percent. Take away with Casper. <laughs> yes. So you know, basically, this uh, topic we're going to talk about today is going to be anniversaries. See. Now, this anniversary could be if you're with your girlfriend, with your fiance, boyfriend, whatever, husband, wife. Um, you know how important they can be, right? And anniversaries should signify you coming together as a couple um, and you should be able to go back to memories all throughout the years and however long it is. And me and Sharice's 16th year anniversary. 16 years. We're was, the second decade. Yeah, it was on January 21st. So, you know, we brought some of the different things that, you know, I got for Sharice for her anniversary. I'm going to make presents. sure to plug in John's part. Watch. And, uh, you know, if you guys don't know what these are, it's Venus Lafleur. It's awesome. These roses, they smell for a whole entire year. Or maybe even longer. I have them in my house, and some of those boxes in that house are literally like they're probably like seven or eight years old. Yeah, and they still yeah. are preserved. Yes, it's yes. crazy. Yes. they're expensive, but if you have flowers that you say you spend a couple hundred bucks on some flowers, yep. and they're beautiful for like four or five days, and then yeah. they're they're dead, they die, whatever. I mean, trick of the matter, you can actually take one, you can hang it upside down, Absolutely. spray hairspray on it, and it'll actually last for quite some time. Yeah. Anyways. But not but, with the smell. <laughs> not with the smell, but you'll still, you'll smell. still keep the rose. But these, they last forever. Like, I mean, literally forever. I mean, and, you should see our house. Yeah, and these are real roses too. So um, they've definitely been preserved, but as far as there's no hairspray or anything like that, they keep <laughs> the smell. Um, and you can change all these different things, patterns, whatever it is, boxes, yes. colors of roses. I've done all different types of things through the years because, you know, for anniversary, for birthday, you know, you're going to get, I, I like to get her roses and I always have I like um, from the start. And you know what? These are like $479. Now you're saying, man, John, that's really expensive. That's out of my budget. It's a year's worth of love. Okay. Listen. So 475 divided by 12. What I, is it? I understand. But, but remember, you got Valentine's Day as a guy. We're not talking about Valentine's you Day. You got now. birthdays. We're talk, right now, we are not talking about birthdays either. And you we're guys not know. About, we're not talking know. about Christmas. And we're not talk, talking about any other holidays. This is the anniversary. Okay. It's separate. So if you want to pick one day or anniversary, I guess, to, to buy these flowers, that's cool. Now, listen, if you're still saying this is it's just not financially feasible, it doesn't really matter how much the roses are or you don't have to get the roses it's all about getting something that's very meaningful to I your know, partner I'm just gonna say like my present to him did not cost this much money and i'm like oh let's really hope that he likes it i'm gonna love it <laughs> because I, I really don't care about getting i don't really don't care about the material gifts it really you know I, i've been desensitized to that i guess through over the years and as you get older i think you start to realize like these material things are great and all, but that's not like the best thing you could possibly get from somebody. The best possible thing you get from somebody is something that truly comes from the heart. Whether they made it themselves, they wrote you a letter, they took you somewhere, like just really nice. I'm not talking about an expensive date or anything like that. Like, you know, you guys went out to the beach and you guys had great conversation. You guys enjoyed each other's company. You made it special. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the real kick here. It is. Is you gotta make it special. If you make it special, I don't care what it is. And if a girl or a guy 
is upset because it's not a materialistic thing and it's not expensive, then I think you might need to move mm. on from that. I need to reevaluate that for sure. There's a lot of people out there that that's what they're focused on. Like, hey, what did it's usually their friends like, what did your boyfriend or girlfriend get you? What's your husband? Oh, they got me um, like a rolls. Oh man, that's he did the cheap way out. He should have took you to dinner. He should have. And you're like, hold on, like. If that's okay for the person, then nobody else should get involved in their business. When me and John got together, we didn't have money. So like John literally would get the, like he would get me a dozen roses and then it was two dozen roses. And you know, you, you, as you, you know, mature on, if you do well and you're successful, then do what you can. And I mean, if not, it's all, I always try to customize something for John, like, or do something, even if it's just the card itself and make it like, like it actually just came from me and not yeah. just like a store or something yeah. like that. You know, um, I think that that's just more meaningful, especially to him. Cause I mean, you got to ask yourself, like, what do you get somebody that ha has everything they can possibly want or they can go get, right. You got to give them something that they can't go buy. Right. So when you hand it over, be like, you know, regardless if it was $1 or a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, you can't go get this. Right. right? Cause right. I made this. Right. right? Um, but that's kind of the, you know, the kick behind it. Now, whatever you guys do out there, I, I give best advice for you is to set an alarm, do what you got to do. So you do not forget your anniversary. Forgetting your anniversary is bad. Yeah, you don't want This to is that. very, 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 very bad. Yeah. And having to come back from forgetting your anniversary, which my lovely husband has never forgot our anniversary, but some of you guys out there have, um, don't do that. <laughs> it's not good. Having to come back from that is not good. And believe you me, us women out there, we're not stupid. And we know you, well, you know, when you've thrown it together in a couple hours because we mentioned it in the morning or something like that. And you're like, oh, what am I going to do now? <laughs> you go run and get something real quick and put it together. And they go, oh, there it is. You know, if that's the case, you better start thinking and you better think real hard and real fast as to how you can make it, like John was saying, super, super special super, super meaningful, you know, and as you, I mean, me and John have been together 16 years now. So, you know, tapped out on gifts, you know, like we've gotten all kinds of gifts. So now you got to start, you got to put some thought process behind it a little bit. For you guys out there, if you guys aren't on a financial budget, there's ways to get roses that you guys could probably find in your area at very inexpensive costs. Publix. Um, well, <laughs> if you're in Florida, Publix, right? If you're also in Florida, the Tampa area, there's flower outlets that you can actually go to and buy roses. You can buy them for pretty, they're very inexpensive, let's put it that way. And then if you're in a different city and stuff like that, I'm sure there's places around you where you can find these different things. Um, and it won't be, like I said, it won't be breaking the bank on everything. It's not going to be expensive like this. Now, it might not look as nice as this, and, <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, like I it's said, the it's, it's the thought that counts. It is the right? thought. It's the thought. And, uh, you know, even putting together something, you know, that mean, that's, that's meaningful on paper and giving it to them a card or whatever it is, That'll be a plus two. Don't just buy a card and don't write anything in it. You got to write something in it. Yeah. Uh, if, if you're not, not just, good, I love you either. If you're not good. I love you, John. I mean, I haven't done this, <laughs> but if, you, if you're not, go to chat GPT. Oh you, you write, write me something that's very romantic. If John ever went to chat GTP or whatever it's called, Jasper or whatever those things are out there, I would know like this. <laughs> Like this, I would call that out so quick. <laughs> but listen, if you need some ideas, that brought me the way to go. Um, so anyway, you could do, you, this is your gift part portion, right? Yeah. So you got to talk about the other portion, which is going to dinner, set a dinner date, go yeah. to a movie, set something up where it's just both you guys. Even if you guys don't have any money, cook dinner. Yep. Make a special night. Yep. Put some candles yep. around the house or yep. something. You know, our house is not the easiest to do something like that because we retired his father and we have a 14 year old in the house. So, you know, putting some <laughs> nice, wonderful candles up and everybody asking why are these in the house and what are you guys doing? You know, might cause some questions and figure out what's going on. It's a little, right. uh, but you know, if that's the case, go go to a hotel room. There's so many different ways you can spin this and so many different things you can do to make it a meaningful day. Absolutely. It doesn't matter. I mean, you, you know, probably Airbnb. Now I've never even done that, but you probably Airbnb somewhere. You know, Airbnb usually, is. usually me and John are out of town for our anniversary. That's this is, this is a, this is the time frame where we go out of town this yeah. in July, right? Yeah. Two times a year. Um, but this year we have a big event. We got festivals of speed, so we can't go out of town. So I'll try not to be too, you know, mean on that day. That's but. another thing you guys can do. You guys can plan a getaway. <laughs> 
and go have a getaway together, getaways whatever nice, it is. You know, you know, it doesn't have to be a long time; it could be a day or two days or whatever. Yeah, it is. weekend or something. You know, uh, at that point, you guys will be able to enjoy each other's company, make more memories, have that private time for each other. Because you know, it's just so hard in days. You might be working different jobs, taking care of kids, all different types of things you might be doing. So, at that point, setting aside that time is crucial. Um, and like I said, you can do a whole bunch of things in this time, right? You can just lay around all day together, My favorite. Uh, you know, or you guys can go Netflixing. do something, Net- you know, together that, that you guys haven't done together. Right. Or, you know, as, if you're in Florida, you have no excuses. There's so many different things to do in all the different times. If you're in Chicago, you still have no excuses. If it's cold outside, get some blankets and do something cute. Make snowing, some popcorn. Day, snowing day. <laughs> so just remember, anniversaries are important benchmarks in your yes. relationship. Don't forget them. Now, it doesn't have to be all crazy like every week, every month, because there are people that do that. But, I'm it, but, it, but it should be every year. So <laughs> at that point, every year, whether you're, you just started the dating on that date or you've got married on that date, whatever it is, make it special and don't become com- complacent. 16 years. I don't care if it's 20 years. Just keep doing it. It's all about progression. Your relationship is a job and you should be complacent on your job one way or the other, right? Make sure on this day that you also recap some memories because memories... And having, and you know, talking about them again, it always brings up obviously happy moments because you guys are together on this day for a specific reason. And yeah, that must have yeah. been a good day for you guys. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Anniversaries are so important. So happy anniversary again to my beautiful wife, 16 years. Ah. And we appreciate you guys, all joys for Cupid's Corner every Sunday at 11 a.m. If you guys don't see it live, don't worry. You guys can either DVR it or you can hit all our social media platforms for Type Medical Center, including YouTube. Just type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe button, Ding. all notification bell, and you'll get to watch this episode and all the other Cupid Corner episodes and much, much more cool content from Type Medical Center. So we'll see you next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. See you then.